Become a wealth creator today. Text VISIT to 800-454-1184 to schedule your 15-minute call with Eric and his team. That's VISIT to 800-454-1184. He's making a list, checking it twice. He's going to find out if you are naughty or nice. Today, Eric is going to step into the boots as our retirement Santa to decide what's naughty or nice when it comes to retirement planning. Thank you so much for joining us. This is Wealth Creator Radio with Eric Heckman. And of course, he is president at Heckman Financial, located right here in the Silicon Valley area. He's been helping people just like you have remarkable retirements for over 30 years now. Starting off, here's that phone number, 800-454-1184. Put that number in your phone if you haven't yet. If you've been listening all this time, Eric and I have been doing this show together for such a long time. Put this number in your phone because you can get a hold of Eric uh, real quick that way, 800-454-1184. You could text the word toolbox to that number and actually get Eric's book, Worry Less Wealth, that he has written. And then also other educational materials right at your fingertips. It's a digital toolbox that you can get. 800-454-1184. And find us online anytime at wealthcreatorradio.com. And hello, Santa. How are you doing today? (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, kind of. But uh, yeah, so no, it's it's good to be kind of going through some of these concerns that people have and, and really kind of figuring out, okay, well, I've, you know, once I see somebody's situation, I can know if it applies to me or not. Right. And, and, and kind of gives you some ideas of if you're thinking the right way or the wrong way. And yeah, we, we definitely need to spend a little bit more time being nice to ourselves and uh, getting these things <laughs> taken care of. Right. Uh, and you don't want to be naughty and uh, get a lump of coal for no. retirement. So. No, no, we don't want that. Now I got to ask you when you were growing up, you know, and, and you have a sister, right? It was you and your sister. Mm-hmm. Did you guys, you know, were you worried about being on Santa's naughty or nice list? Well, you're always a little bit, right? And, <laughs> yeah, always get a little bit better behaved in Behavior, December. Behavior, yeah. Right? Yeah, so. And what about your how, boys? How big a thing? What about your boys, yeah, too? They, they, they did somewhat, they yeah. Good. Not, not massively noticeable, yeah. but so, somewhat. It's a little bit know, of a change, so. yeah, as yeah. it gets closer to Christmas. Well, okay, today we're going to have you, Eric, uh, become our retirement Santa. You're literally going to put the boots on. And I'm going to give you some retirement scenarios, and I want you to tell us whether it could fall under naughty or nice, Okay. Okay. All right. Ho, ho, ho. Here we go. Sam is 60 and he's thinking about retiring early in a couple of years. He loves the idea of more free time, but he's only managed to save a small amount for retirement. His wife, Allison, is very concerned about not having enough income from their social security benefits, but Sam reassures her it won't be a problem. So what do you think, retirement Santa? Would Sam's (laughs) decision fall under naughty or nice? Well, that could be Probably pretty naughty because if, <laughs> if you're going to retire early and especially if you haven't saved enough, I mean, first of all, you, you got to have an income plan. You have to know, will this money last? Will I have enough? You know, will this meet my standard of living? You know, and then also in terms of uh, filing for Social Security, uh, you know, it really depends on the two of them of who had higher earnings. So whoever has the higher of the two earnings during their career that's the one you want to have turn on their social security later okay? Uh, because of the larger, the two checks stays forever. It's like what I like to call your eternal, your couple's eternal check. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, so if he starts his earlier and gets a smaller check and then maybe he dies say early at 70 or 75, well, you know, now Allison's stuck with a lower check for the rest of her life. Mm, and yeah. that could be another 20, 30 years on top of that. So, uh, you know, it's not a decision that affects just this one year or a couple of years. No, you're talking decades. And uh, so, yeah, you want to make sure that that check is as big as it can be. So, exactly. yeah, be, be careful before you t- take those uh Take those big leaps. Exactly. And definitely talk to someone like Eric because this is what he does. He he focuses on at retirement planning and helps people make the best decisions with their Social Security. Okay, here's another retirement scenario for you to decide if uh, this couple is naughty or nice. Bob and Alice both recently retired and they're thinking about leaving their busy lives here in Silicon Valley and moving to North Carolina. And they think that that move will offer them a chance to enjoy a lower cost of living and also provide them with a community of fellow retirees. So retirement Santa Eric, is this couple naughty or nice when it comes to their move after retirement? Yeah, well, that that should 
you know, most likely be nice. Uh, you know, the, there's a lot to think about when, when you're doing that. Uh, I actually had a, you know, a fairly good friend who moved to Nashville. They were there for, I think about six months and realized they didn't like it very much. So they actually <laughs> ironically now moved to North Carolina. So oh, it's funny. funny, it's yeah. funny that this question is about that, but, yeah. uh, and they seem to like it more there, but yeah, it, it is one of those things where lots of times you can sell your house here, buy a big old place there, have yeah. no mortgage. Uh, so there's a lot of good stuff there. Uh, you do have to watch it in all seasons. Um, you know, obviously in California, we, we keep the snow and where it belongs in the mountains <laughs> where you can go play with it. Yeah. It doesn't, you know, land on your front doorstep. Yeah. Uh, you know, we don't have all the crazy weather, or the big bugs and all the other stuff. So, uh, you know, there's those types of things to look at. There's, you know, are you accounting for even if taxes, income taxes are lower, a lot of times property taxes are much, much higher in other states. And so, so yeah, you have to look at all that. But typically, yeah, that that's going to be a good plan to downsize and go someplace else. And I've helped lots of clients do that. I kind of jokingly say I got to be an expert in that because I have probably one every, at least every quarter, if not every two months, move in someplace. And uh, I did actually just recently have some clients that moved to a retirement place where it was all brand new homes. Oh, cool. You know, in, in Florida and, yeah. and talked to them recently and they're, they're enjoying it. They're meeting a lot of people. They're having the, you know, four o'clock happy hour. Oh, fun. Uh, you know, yeah. all that fun stuff when you're retired. So. <laughs> Just for the record, something I don't do is have high, happy hour at four o'clock. <laughs> okay, very but, good. Uh, yeah, not on yeah. a daily basis, right? <laughs> no. So, uh, yeah, so it can be good. But, you know, again, you want always want to have this with an actual income plan, you know, investment plan, tax plan, healthcare legacy plan. You want to have that all rolled into one. And that's really what we do with the blueprint to worry less wealth. And, you know, that's one of the things that if you want to set up a time to talk, we can uh, have a 15 to 30 minute phone call, just find out what your concerns are, what your issues are. And then we can go do that blueprint and there's no cost or obligation to doing that. You know, so it's a great way to do it. You know, have, have somebody knows all these other things that you may not be thinking of uh, and go over that and bring those items to your attention. And then, yeah, we can kind of go from there. But, you know, again, if you want to do that, or you just want to read my book, Worry Less Wealth, you want to read some other materials that are all super short and quick reads. Uh, all you have to do is get our digital toolbox and you get the key to that digital toolbox by just texting the word toolbox to 800-454-1184. Again, text the word toolbox 800-454-1184 or download it directly at wealthcreatorradio.com. Let me thank you so much for joining us. This is Wealth Creator Radio, and we are having Eric step into the boots of Santa today, determining whether uh, these retirement scenarios are naughty or nice. Here's one for you. Ethan is 50 years old. He's getting ready to retire, and he started noticing that the cost of his everyday expenses are going up, groceries, utility bills, even his coffee, you know, all that. But he doesn't really worry about his retirement savings keeping up with the rise in costs. He continues to just spend as he pleases. What do you think, Santa? Is Ethan being naughty or nice when it comes to inflation in retirement? Yeah, well, that's pretty obvious that he's pretty being naughty. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, so so that's one of the things that, of course, in recent years has been, you know, massively changed. And we've seen a lot of inflation and it, it ebbs and flows, but it's always there. And so, yeah, you do need to make sure your income's not just you know, like if you spend 5,000 a month now, you don't want to be living on 5,000 a month in 20 years from now. Mm -hmm. uh, Cause that's not going to be the same. That'll be like three grand a month. And you know, it's not going to be the same lifestyle at all, at all. So yeah, you do need to have some money growing. You do have to be paying attention to that. And one of the easiest ways to do it is save more money and, you know, have that money grow more. So if he's spending too much, <laughs> uh, that, that causes the, the other solution to be hard, right? Having enough money there to, to get through that. So yeah, definitely uh, want to watch that. All right, Santa, that's pretty much it, except for I want to ask you one. It, you know, this is year in now. What should we be doing? Are you going to be around to help people here before the new year? Yeah, certainly. Yeah, we, we still have some some slots available for, you know, for that last week there of the year or even the beginning of the year next year. Uh, you know, really, this is the time you want to be taken to look at all this stuff. And lots of times people are off. So it's a good time to be, to, to be focusing on it and see if there is any last minute moves you should be doing or things you should at least be fixing ongoing for the rest of your life so you can have more money. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. yeah, so it's pretty simple to do that. Uh, if you want to just set up a 15 to 30 minute phone call or Zoom, either way, all you have to do is text the word visit to 800 454 
eleven eighty four. There's no cost, no obligation. We'll just, you know, you'll talk directly with me and, you know, we can kind of go over what your worries are and concerns. And then if you want to go forward, we can actually do a, a free income plan, the full blueprint, everything. So definitely a, a, some great presents that you can get for yourself. So again, text the word visit to 800 454 1184 or book directly at wealthcreatorradio.com. Still more to come with Eric. We'll be right back with Wealth Creator Radio. Be sure to like and subscribe to Wealth Creator Radio so you can stay up to date on ways to build your wealth and create a retirement you and your family will enjoy for years to come. Like and subscribe today and create your wealth for tomorrow with Wealth Creator Radio. Are you happy with your Medicare plan? Even if you are, what was good for you this year might not be what's best for you next year. The team at Heckman Financial can help you sort through all the options to find the best one for you. Call now, 800-454-1184. That's 800-454-1184. Hi, you're listening to Wealth Creator Radio with Eric Heckman, president of Heckman Financial. And he is here to guide you about retirement and finding that wealth that you need in retirement, having that successful retirement. You know, when you think about it, there are so many moving parts when it comes to preparing for retirement. When should I take my Social Security? When might I accidentally trigger higher taxes? Or what if I make a wrong move with my retirement savings? And there are so many decisions that can impact each other, Eric, that you could say that retirement planning is kind of like trying to figure out a Rubik's Cube, right? Yeah, so certainly. And, uh, you know, those things can be tough and unless you're a kid and you've got a lot of time to, to do them. Well, I was going to say, did you? <laughs> yeah. were you ever any good at them? I would think uh, you would be. You're a smart yeah, guy. I, I think <laughs> at one point when the, you know, whenever that was in the 80s, I guess, or yeah. something, when, when they were going, I was able to solve them after a while. But, wow. uh, I mean, I think the neat thing now is those people do the artwork out of out of those those, those are pretty fun to, to watch but uh, oh really yeah, oh, I don't yeah. know about this the creative oh, yeah. side of it okay yep. I mean it, it is one of those critical things to, to know about social security and see how that literally does fit in the puzzle of, of retirement because it's it's one of the bigger pieces and it's one of the ones that if you find out later you did it wrong nothing you can do about it so you want to do it right the first time yeah it's interesting you just brought up social security because I wanted you to give us examples of retirement decisions impacting other areas of our plan. So Social Security. Yeah, so so definitely taking Social Security, you know, at, at the wrong times can be bad. Uh, probably the biggest one out there is before your full retirement age. So, you know, if you're born 55 to 59, you're some version of 66 in a few months. If you're born 1960 and after, that's 67. But, you know, if you are working and or sometimes you say oh i'm not going to work and so you you know you stop working people turn on social security and then they get a good job offer or somebody recruits them to come back and then guess what oops hold it you made too much money and once you make over about 21 grand they start taking one dollar for every two dollars that you make over that amount so for most people once you make about 60 70 grand your, all the Social Security will be get paid back, and you'll get, keep that penalty for starting too soon. Mm. You know that can be a big mess, and so yeah, you you definitely do want to you do want to watch that, and you know probably the other one um, that I see a lot of it's it's a little bit sneakier is um, you know as a lot of times people will either sell stuff or they'll do a Roth conversion, and they're over sixty five. Well, that shouldn't be a big deal, right? Except for this, this is what sounds like a nice old lady, Irma, um, yeah. but there it's, but she's not. <laughs> so, <laughs> she's not nice. Uh, so Irma is this this calculation for for a monthly adjustment to your Medicare premiums, and if you make too much money this year over around one ninety one, uh, then you might start paying forty percent, hundred percent, up to two hundred and forty percent higher Medicare premiums based on your income. And so again, that's something where this tax thing or that tax thing hits and you did something and it doesn't show up on a tax return. It shows up not right away, but it shows up a lot later. And so that's one of the things that you have to watch out for is is that sneaky little Medicare not a tax, but a wow. Medicare premium increase. It's based off your taxes. So yeah, let's just call it a tax. Right. <laughs> yeah, why not, right? So what are some key pieces, let's just go through that again, of a retirement income strategy, and then we'll move from there. 
Well, you know, the the biggest thing is what it, what do you have coming in on a systematic basis, right? What can you count on? So, you know, obviously Social Security, if you have a pension, you know, if you have any set dollar amounts, if you have any monies guaranteed from an insurance company that's coming in on, you know, a monthly basis. So those are things that, that kind of give you your baseline pay, right? You're that, that's kind of like your, your main main income. And then, you know, most people usually have a gap. And that gap is how much money do you need to, to make that monthly income that you need? And so that's going to be coming out of wherever else, right? Your investments, your savings. Uh, and so, you know, you need to know how much is that fixed amount. And then you need to know how much is going to be coming out from, uh, you know, other sources and which sources those are. And so that that's one of the key things that you have to be, you know, really knowing and, you know, having that information, knowing, you know, will your money last? Are you paying too much in tax? Uh, you know, which, which ones should you take money from? How do you get Social Security? Those are all items that are in our toolbox. And so that's a digital toolbox that's free to download. Uh, if you want to get a, access to that toolbox, it's pretty simple. All you have to do is text the word toolbox to 800-454-1184. Again, text the word toolbox, 800-454-1184. Or you can download it directly at wealthcreatorradio.com. And again, you're listening to Wealth Creator Radio with Eric Heckman. I'm Lou Ann Fulmer. Eric and his team are here to guide you with all these confusing and questions that we have about retirement. We're all bombarded with. He and his team can explain it to you in a much easier conversation, and they are offering a chance for you to go in and see them. So take them up on this. All right, let's let's talk more Social Security now because it is one of the pieces of our retirement income puzzle. Tell us how you help someone decide when it may make sense for them to file. Don't do what your neighbor is doing or someone else at work is doing. Yeah, well, so one of the worst things out there, and a lot of financial advisors, sadly, even use these uh, type of tools, is that they'll, they'll look at these numbers of, hey, if I start Social Security at 70 versus you know, 67 or 65, whatever the, you know, other date is somewhere in my late seventies, early eighties will be when it would have made more sense to, you know, wait. And so, okay, because of that, I should wait. Well, okay. What's, what's missing there, right? Well, what's your health status? What are your other assets, other things? Um, Are you really going to wait to retire or you're talking about just not having any money for quite some time (laughs) while you're retired? Um, Because you can do that. You don't have to have your social security turned on to retire. I, I find 65 is still the number one age for people to retire, you know, mainly because of Medicare, but, um, you know, lots of times now it's 60 in, in your 66s or 67s full retirement age. But what happens to your other assets, right? So if you go to retire and you don't want to turn on that Social Security and say you're going to wait till 67. So that's two years of not getting that two to three thousand dollars a month. Well, if you add that all up, that could be a lot of money that's now having to be drained out of your other accounts. So the fallacy of that whole let's wait and then, you know, here, if I waited here versus now, is people forget about your other assets. So the only way to ever, ever (laughs) decide on Social Security is to have it inside an income plan. Because I can tell you easily which way it works for your situation. If you have it inside an income plan, I can say, here, at age 80 or age 90, this is how much money you have. And if you do it this way versus this way, which one gives you more money when you're 80 or 90? Not from Social Security, but overall, you know, in terms of your overall assets, because if one ate up a bunch of assets and you have almost no money left just to wait to have a bigger Social Security check and then Mm. your car breaks down or your house has a problem and you have no money because you only have is Social Security checks, right? (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. It's not too good. So um, I I find that that's the biggest thing that people need to do is really figure out, you know, what, how does it go in your income plan? What's the best way to, to turn on that Social Security? What do we need to know about other common sources of retirement income other than Social Security, Eric? Yeah, well, I mean, having that Social Security income obviously is a big part of it. And, you know, lots of times people say, oh, it's not that much. Eh, you know, it, it can be a lot of money, <laughs> right? Yeah. So uh, so that's good, but, but it's not going to be enough. You know, we all know that. And so say, you know, you spend... $8,000 a month in retirement and you've, you know, determined with social security be- between you and your spouse, you're going to get five. Well, that means you're, you know, you got a gap of three. Well, do you want to just have that all on maybe money? 
Uh, maybe money's like it may be there it may not yeah <laughs> you know that's, no uh, maybe stuff's not the fun way to retire that's the <laughs> way to freak out your life pretty much yeah uh so you know we like to have it where there's a little bit more higher confidence so you know if you could add some guaranteed foundational stuff is that from a bank is it from an insurance company wherever but if you know that you've got a thousand two thousand more coming in now you barely have to get any money from your assets. So the market conditions aren't going to be as critical for you, you know, in retirement. But that's the mistake people make is they don't think about that. And then they retire on this hope and you hope you're going to do, you hope everything's going to happen, but it may not. And then what happens? Well, you know, there's not many options if if you're 85 and almost out of money. So, you know, again, these are things that, that we need to be thinking about and, you know, really having a plan, having that written income plan that says, hey, here's with inflation, with taxes, with everything calculated in, am I going to be okay? And it's easy answer. Yes, no, or you'll be okay until <laughs> this date, right? Yeah. And, but again, at least now we've got time to fix it. So if you want to get some more information, if you want to have some stuff, will your money last as long as you? Will, you know, are you paying too much? Social security decisions, all these things are great quick reports that we have, uh, really easy to read. They're in our digital toolbox. Uh, that's at, you know, that's our, our wealth creator toolbox. Again, it's something no cost to you. All you have to do is uh, text the word toolbox to 800 454 1184. Again, text the word toolbox 800 454 1184. Or you can download it directly at wealthcreatorradio.com. How can we keep from accidentally triggering higher taxes in retirement? That's next with Eric when Wealth Creator Radio continues. Do you know whether your retirement plan has any weak points? Discover ways on giving your financial future the proper tune up. Simply go online to wealthcreatortoolbox.com to gain a better understanding in taxes, social security, and other ways to manage your portfolio. And that's how it's done. That's wealthcreatortoolbox.com. Be sure to like and subscribe to Wealth Creator Radio so you can stay up to date on ways to build your wealth and create a retirement you and your family will enjoy for years to come. Like and subscribe today and create your wealth for tomorrow with Wealth Creator Radio. You're listening to Wealth Creator Radio with Eric Heckman. Eric is offering to help you create a retirement strategy. So many retirees don't have one as they're heading into, you know, a most important time of your life where you're not going to be working anymore. He and his team at Heckman Financial are here to guide you so you can have a remarkable retirement. So we're talking today about how there are so many moving parts when it comes to preparing for retirement, so many decisions that can impact each other. And Eric, you know, you could say that retirement planning is almost like trying to figure out a Rubik's Cube, right? No, exactly. There's a lot of things going on, a lot of pieces and a lot of stuff that, a lot of hidden gotchas that, that, you know, those just online calculators and other things aren't smart enough to you know, to figure out and and do. And, uh, you know, so that's why I think people really need help knowing how to navigate to how to get this money back out. It's one thing to have it grow, but taking it back out, there's so many more issues. Right, right. And that's why I'm so happy we do this show just to, for all of us to learn when we, when we have knowledge, then we're going to feel better and we'll make better decisions. All right. So we've been talking about, you know, taking Social Security, what we need to be doing to try to claim it at the right time. But for those people who are taking Social Security, they have to start thinking about those required minimum distributions. Right. And the impact can be what is sometimes called the tax torpedo. I want you to explain that. How can we keep from accidentally triggering higher taxes? Yes. So so the tax torpedo is this kind of uh, funky spot in the tax code that well, first came out in the 80s when they said, oh, we're only going to tax 50% of your Social Security. And then in the 90s, oh, we're going to only tax 85% of your Social Security. <laughs> it's like, okay, at least I haven't gotten to 100 yet. But uh, one of the super sneaky things they didn't do was they never adjusted any of that for inflation. So whoever was, quote, wealthy 
in the 90s, making that's a couple making 34,000 um, or 50% and then 44,000 at 85% of their social security then gets taxed. So what's this tax torpedo? Well, the, basically what we're talking about there is say, you know, you've got social security turned on, you're living on savings initially. So you're, you're almost in a you know, basically zero tax bracket, and then you take out five grand to go on vacation out of your IRA. Well, that five grand may have now gone from zero tax on your Social Security to being now, you know, 50% or even up to 85%. If you took out 10 or 15, for sure, it would get you up to, you know, 85% of your Social Security being taxed. So that's all of a sudden, if you look at the tax rate, because all that income wasn't taxed, and you just took out that little bit of money, and it caused all of your income to be now all of a sudden taxable. That's what they call the tax torpedo. So again, something that you know you may or may not hit. Uh, maybe you need more money out of it than that, and you're over the Social Security taxation. But a lot of times, if you structure things right, you can actually live at least a few years early on in retirement pretty tax efficiently if you don't screw up and <laughs> you know get hit with a tax torpedo. Right. That's why we need guidance, you know. So let's talk about how we can have more control over the income taxes that we pay in, in retirement based on the way we take income from those retirement accounts. Yeah, really the, the best way to kind of conceptually do it is, is think about, you know, you've got three different buckets. So lots of times actually in my live events that we do, we'll, we'll actually, I'll actually bring out some buckets and, it, you know, think of the, the three types as one's taxable, meaning every year you have to pay some tax on it. So that'd be savings accounts, money markets, mutual funds, things like that, brokerage account. And then you've got the tax deferred, which is like your 401ks, IRAs. So these are stuff that you don't pay tax on until you take it out. And then lastly, you got tax-free. Tax-free is stuff like uh, Roth IRAs, um, specially designed life insurance, things like that. So the sad part is in, in our live events, usually we bring out the big bucket. And what's the big bucket? It's always tax-deferred. Mm-hmm. 401ks, IRAs, all right? That's where right. most people's money is. Usually around 70 to 80% of their money's in there. And they may have 10 or 15% in the taxable. And then they we usually bring out like a, it's almost a shot glass kind of a red solo cup shot glass. <laughs> uh, and that is uh, how much most people have in tax free, which is really sad, right? Because tax free is obviously by far the best. Of and course. so one of the things to look at is how can you, before you get to retirement, get more and more money in that tax free bucket? How can you get that bigger? Because then you get all sorts of control over your taxes. But if you haven't done that and you haven't done that advanced planning and you're in retirement, well, now it's okay. How much should I take from which and what's my tax situation going to look like? Am I going to hit those those limits where my Medicare premiums start going up higher? Am I going to cause other things to be taxed? Am I going to hit with a tax torpedo? Only way to do that is you do that planning either at the very end of the year or the beginning of the year to figure out which buckets you're going to take money out of. The problem is if you try to do that in February and April when you're reporting on your last year's tax return, too late. You already took that money out. And so if you find out that that messed you up, there's nothing you can do, right? So really what we need to do is we need to make sure you plan that ahead. And that's the biggest problem. So uh, one of the things we did set up is a lot of lot of information online in our Wealth Creator Toolbox. Uh, that Wealth Creator Toolbox has stuff on Social Security. Has, are you paying too much in taxes and retirement? Uh, will your money last? Uh, finding the right balance? And even uh, some chapters of my book, uh, Worry Less Wealth. You can even set a time to talk if you want to set up a 15 to 30 minute phone call there. So again, if you want to get that Wealth Creator Toolbox, all you have to do, super simple, text the word TOOLBOX to 800-454-1184. Again, text the word TOOLBOX, 800-454-1184, or get it directly at wealthcreatorradio.com. Eric, tell us how you help people avoid making a misstep with their retirement savings. Well, I mean, this has been my life's work for the last 30 years is (laughs) trying to figure out what's the best way to do this. You know, what works, what doesn't work. The biggest thing I've determined is the thing that does not work. And sadly, your 401k forces you into this mode is having 100% of your money in stocks and bonds. Okay. It just doesn't work because we all know every decade there's going to be a couple bad years. Now, on average two or three of them. So if you're going to be retired, hopefully for three, maybe even four decades, you know, you're going to have a lot of those bad years in there. And 
with those bad years come, you need to have some stuff that doesn't drop at the market. You need to make sure you have some money that's always going to be there. So first and foremost, you need some foundational money. You need some money that's guaranteed from loss, but still earn some good earnings and still have some good growth. But you know that money is going to be there for the rest of your life. You know you can take money out and not have a loss. And there's great insurance products that do that. You could even do it with banks if you want to. But there are some great tools out there that can help you do that. And so in those bad years, like in 2022, that's what we did for a lot of our clients. We started taking money out of those accounts. We did not take it out of the market stuff. So that way it gives the market money time to bounce around and and go back up as it does over long periods of time. And then in between that, you want to have some steady income money, some stuff that's very low volatility, but pays really good dividends. Ideally dividends, at least on quarterly, if not monthly basis. And these are things that are not bouncing around you know, up and up and down 20% per month or something crazy like that. Mm -hmm. These are very, very stable, very low volatility stuff. And so between having that foundational and steady income money and the market money, I know our planning works. It's worked for the last 30 years for our clients. We've had a lot of clients that have been really, really appreciative that we've been able to be here, help them, guide them to that retirement through it. And, And things change. I mean, I was just meeting with somebody who she's been retired for almost 15 years and She's almost her monthly budget's almost double what it used to be because of inflation. And oh. guess what? My income plan showed that would be the case. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so right. uh, we can go back to that old income plan and say, yeah, this is exactly what we planned for. And so we know it works, but you have to have a plan. And if you're doing this on your own, well, you only get one chance at it. And if you screw it up, <laughs> it's pretty bad because it's <laughs> the only chance you get, right, to retire. You know, that's why you want to have somebody here to help you. So again, if you want to get access to some of our great digital tools that we have at the Wealth Creator Toolbox, all you got to do is text the word toolbox to get all those wonderful reports, our copy of our book. And even if you want to set a time, again, text the word toolbox, 800 454 1184. Again, text the word toolbox, 800 454 1184 or book directly online at wealthcreatorradio.com. Still more to come with Eric Heckman of Heckman Financial. We'll be right back. This is Eric. Janine. Dawn. Matt. Jason. And Lisa. From all of us here at Heckman Financial, we want to wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Hi, this is Wealth Creator Radio with Eric Heckman. I'm Luann Fulmer. Eric is president of Heckman Financial, where their mission is to get you to and through a worry-less wealth retirement. Their strategies can help you in minimizing fees, lowering your tax costs. The whole thing is, wouldn't you like to worry less? They are here for you. So right now, we are going to bring some questions to the airwaves. These are questions from retirees. We're going to dig into our wealth creator mailbag today. Okay, Eric, you ready for this? Yep, sounds good. Okay, so this first one's from Jancy. And Jancy says, I'm 61 and I just lost my job. What do I need to do to figure out if I can stay retired or if I need to start looking for another job? Yeah, well, that's literally what happened to my parents when dot-com days way back when. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, they both got laid off and we ran the numbers and you know figured out that they, they were able to do it. And uh, you know, it was good that they did when they did. But um, yeah, I mean, the, the, the big thing there is, again, you have to figure out how much you're going to spend in, in retirement, right? How much do you need to live on and get the real number? Uh, you know, yeah. So again, add up those 12 months of uh, bank statements. Divide by 12, and that's the the no BS, real money that you're spending. <laughs> and it's always higher than you think. And once you, once you know that, obviously, if at age 61, the one problem is medical. So you have to also figure out how, how expensive is it going to be your health insurance till 65. And, you know, then you can kind of run the numbers, see if they're, you know, if you've got enough assets and stuff to, to get that money through. It's a little dangerous trying to turn on Social Security at 62 because you're going to get a lot less money. And if you end up working again, you'll pay that Social Security money back. So really, in, in a situation like that, you're going to try to at least make it to 65, 66 or ideally 67 for full retirement before you get that Social Security check. So it is definitely tougher. So. Mm-hmm. You know, it, that's one of the ones where really what you want to do is sit down with somebody and say, okay, does, does this make sense? You know, what have I, what do I not know that I should know? Yeah. Uh, that's always a big one, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, and, you know, go through the plan. And once you have that, the answer may be great or the answer may be, yeah, go get a job. <laughs> it might be, <laughs> so, you know. Yeah. Okay. Or, or sometimes I've also had clients just go out and get a kind of a, 
a, a job for fun or a job for less stress where they can just yeah. clock out kind of thing, but they also get the medical insurance. So, right. you know, so it saves them a lot of money and they don't have to make as much. So, you know, there, there's different, you know, there's an in-between, I guess. Right. And then it'd only be for, you know, another four years too to get to age 65. So, yeah, that's yep. that's awesome. So here's the number, 800-454-1184. If you have a question like that, 800-454-1184. Call that number, get on Eric's calendar. They would love to help you out here with your retirement plan. It's all complimentary. All right, here is another question for you. This is from Jolene. Jolene says, speaking of Medicare, (laughs) I've started getting a ton of mail about Medicare. So I guess someone knows I'm about ready to turn 65. Should I keep all this mail? And then how do I decide on the right Medicare policy? Yeah, don't don't be a hoarder. (laughs) <laughs> right. So, so, so recycle all that mail. Okay. Uh, yeah. No. The, yeah. You want once you get you know even sixty four and a half or even sixty four. Yeah. The direct mail machines pointed at you. Uh, oh. You know, go up to rapid fire. <laughs> so yeah, it, it is something that if if you're retired, you definitely want to be paying attention to this. Now, if you're still working, you know, you usually just stay on your your group benefits. But you know, you do want to start learning about it. I mean, Medicare in a lot of ways is actually somewhat easier because. All the plans are the same. Uh, the government standardized all the plans. They're all by letters. And so, you know, it's, it's a little bit simpler than, than individual insurance where it could be all over the place. Mm-hmm. So at least that part's nice. And then you have to just figure out, okay, which ones are my doctors in? Which prescriptions am I taking? And that's something that, you know, we can definitely help you with. Yeah, it doesn't take a ton of time, but you, it's something where you do want to look at it. And it's something actually that you really almost have to look at every year, if, if not every couple of years, just to make sure your plan's still the same. Uh, the drug plan you usually want to always do every year just because of, you know, you may take new prescriptions uh-huh. and then, you know, you, it may be a different plan. And so every year you get to have an open enrollment towards the end of the year. Yeah. So, so it is something where you want to get a little advice because it is a ton of different jargon that, you know, yes. most, most of us don't know, <laughs> uh, you know, and, and again, so that, that's something that if you wanted to set up some time or just get some information from us, all you have to do is text the word visit to 800-454-1184. Again, text the word visit 800-454-1184. Or book directly online at wealthcreatorradio.com. And we thank you so much for joining us today. This is Wealth Creator Radio with Eric Heckman. I'm Luann Fulmer. We're digging into our Wealth Creator mailbag today. This next one is from Stuart. Eric. And he says, my father has Alzheimer's and it's been really hard on all of us. I'm also thinking a lot about my future and if I end up following in his footsteps with this. What do I need to do now so my affairs are in order in case I start to lose my mental capacity? And also, who should I talk to for help? Great questions and obviously big concerns for a lot of people, especially when it's, yeah, they, in, so, some stuff is debatable about how hereditary it is right. or isn't, mm-hmm. right? And uh, Although I think there's ways to test for Alzheimer's now. I, I think guess. so, yeah. yeah. So, so we're you you have more likely, yeah, mm-hmm. more likelihood. But I mean, regardless, if you have a family history of it or not, of any disease, really, uh, you know, you still want to have all this stuff figured out. Right. Because <laughs> it's bad enough when somebody loses a loved one, but when they lose their loved one and they find out their loved one left them a mess, uh, <laughs> you know, to clean up, it's even worse. So, yeah, I mean, there's a couple things. You, 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 know, you want to have a durable power of attorney that says who can make decisions, who can pay your bills, not just the medical decisions, but, you know, who can pay your bills, who can make sure that they take that money out of the IRA every year for, that you have to do when you're older and, you know, all, all those kind of things. So uh, that could be a durable power of attorney for financial management, or you could do a, a living trust, which is usually a little bit more ideal. And then make sure that you have somebody that will do that and is willing to do all those things for you. And um, just getting that planning in place, make sure those, those accounts are in the right order. And then obviously the other part would be, how do you pay for that care? So there's an old school traditional long-term care, which is Geez, just been, you know, getting jacked up premiums left and right. I've had clients get over 100% increase. Uh, The worst one was 267% over three years. And yeah, it's just crazy. So 
not a big fan of traditional long-term care, but there are some, some uh, accounts where you can either use annuities or life insurance where you just pay one time or you pay over five years and then you're done with it. They can't change the rates. They can't change the benefits. But then that would give you some money for that long-term care if you need it. And the best thing about those ones, if you don't need it, that money still comes back to somebody, not you, but somebody. Right, <laughs> and right, so, yeah. Uh, so, so you're not losing that money. So there are some options out there, but yeah, you, you definitely want to get have some planning around all that for sure. Okay. If you want some guidance on that, that number again to call Eric and his awesome team is 800-454-1184, 800-454-1184. They help people. They have helped people with situations like this. Eric, you've said, you know, our, our system is working very well. You're guiding people. You've done a lot of work on helping retirees. So if you find yourself in this situation and you want answers, give Eric and his team a call. 800-454-1184. Here's another question for you in our Wealth Creator mailbag from Debbie. Debbie says, I appreciate all the work that my husband has done to put together a financial plan, but he also keeps getting excited about different investments and it's starting to stress me out how he's always changing our plans and chasing the next big thing. I just want to have confidence in our plan. I'm not excited about the investments that he's talking about. What should I do? Well, you should decide if you want to stay married. No. No. <laughs> exactly. That's a, <laughs> no. it's a marital uh, counseling problem. <laughs> yeah, no. So that can be tough. And, and I find it's almost always the case that, that one spouse has got a lot lower risk tolerance than the other one. And I've had some situations. I mean, I've got one client. Uh, he works for a pretty high-flying uh, tech company. And, um, and luckily, because he's lost multi-millions of dollars twice. Oh. And so when they first came to me, his wife's requirements, I guess, would be the <laughs> nice, nicer, friendlier way to say it, uh, not demands, <laughs> but were for him to at least have some money that's foundational, money that's guaranteed, that can't go away, that they know it'll be there. And, you know, then that gives you more of a permission slip to go crazy with the rest, right? Mm-hmm. So, uh, you know, I, I find that's the problem with a lot of people is they're taking risks that they can't afford to take. Luckily for this client, his company's stock shot back up and, and they kind of made it back. But that's why mm. she's also saying, let's protect this and, and not, not, you know, we're too old now to have this happen a, mm-hmm. you know, a third time. Right. So, so that's one of the things that, yeah, you definitely want to have some money that's guaranteed, some money that's there, it's protected, that can't go away, that you can't screw up, that you don't have to even monitor. <laughs> and so, except for maybe once a year. Yeah. So, and then, yeah, then once you know you've got some money guaranteed, protected, then you can go for it with some of this other money or you, just take over in charge of some of your own and <laughs> make sure at least you know your money's there, right? So it could be a little bit of both. But again, you know, we've got a lot of great tools about, you know, will your money last as long as you do, especially if you take crazy risks, <laughs> uh, right? Uh, are you paying too much in tax, uh, social security decision, and even my book, Worry Less Wealth. You can grab all that stuff for free, no cost at all. All you have to do is text the word toolbox to 800-454-1184. Again, text the word toolbox, 800-454-1184, or download it directly online at wealthcreatorradio.com. Wealth Creator Radio with Eric Heckman. We'll be right back. Are you happy with your Medicare plan? Even if you are, what was good for you this year might not be what's best for you next year. The team at Heckman Financial can help you sort through all the options to find the best one for you. Call now, 800-454-1184. That's 800-454-1184. Be sure to like and subscribe to Wealth Creator Radio so you can stay up to date on ways to build your wealth and create a retirement you and your family will enjoy for years to come. Like and subscribe today and create your wealth for tomorrow with Wealth Creator Radio. Hey, thanks for joining us. You're listening to Wealth Creator Radio with Eric Heckman. And every week on our show, Eric and I discuss challenges and risks that exist in retirement. So it's time now for Eric to give us another example of someone who has experienced one of those retirement obstacles that we talk about. And that would be what we call a financial fail. So tell us what you have for us, Eric. This is always a a tough subject, right? (laughs) You don't really want to have people fail and you want to have people succeeding. And these clients came to me when they were in their late sixties and getting close to retiring. And we went ran through the the blueprint to worry less wealth and we did the income plan and 
every, everything was looking pretty good. They have a house, but they also have like a rental unit out back. So that gives her some extra income. And they were just getting married uh, while they were supposed to get married. And then COVID hit. And (laughs) so that delayed it for about two years before they could have all their friends there. But uh, they did do all that stuff. And and so they're uh, been been enjoying retirement. But uh, recently, their, their tax rates shot through the roof. And we were looking at that. And uh, the crazy part is uh, their combined Social Security, it went from, uh, so it went from like 81 to 86,000. The tax, the taxable portion of that Social Security, so what counts for income, went from 24,000 to 53 to 74,000. Oh, wow. So they got a couple dollars more, but their taxable income went up by 20 thousand dollars oh my word uh just in the one year from three years ago it went up almost fifty thousand dollars now this isn't taking out they weren't you know getting more money per se from social security but they were taking more money from their ira and that ira income made their income higher yep. and so then of course you had to take more money out for taxes for you know to net more money out of your IRA, right? Yeah. And then that also now hit them with a big tax bill. So now we're having to take out even more money. So unfortunately, we did not have a timeline to to do Roth conversions or anything else like that. So you know that this is one of the the things that we try to do if we have more timeline with people before they retire. So that's why it's so critical to have that five to ten years out to really look at that and say, oh yeah, I really need to do some action or I'm set. Yeah, but you have to know about it, right? So <laughs> uh, again, if that's something you want to get a little bit more information on, we've got my book. We've got, are you uh, paying too much in taxes? The social security decision, will your money last as long as you do? Lots of great resources in the toolbox, the Wealth Creator Toolbox. All you have to do to get that is text the word toolbox to 800-454-1184. Again, text the word toolbox, 800-454-1184, or download it directly at Wealth Creator Radio. That's all for this week's show. Thanks for listening. Talk to you soon. Information provided during Wealth Creator Radio is for illustrative purposes only and does not constitute investment, tax, or legal advice. Information has been obtained from sources that are deemed to be reliable, but their accuracy and completeness cannot be guaranteed. Always consult with a qualified investment, legal, or tax professional before taking any action. Annuity guarantees are based solely on the financial strength and claims-paying ability of the issuing company. Individuals should thoroughly review the contract for specific details of the product features and costs. Income payments and withdrawals from deferred annuities are generally taxable as ordinary income in the year they are taken. Eric Heckman offers investment advisory services through Heckman Financial and Insurance Services, Inc., a registered investment advisor. Any tax advice given as part of this presentation is not intended to be used and cannot be used by the taxpayer for the purpose of avoiding tax penalties or promoting, marketing, or recommending to another party any matter or transaction addressed herein. The views and opinions expressed in the program are not necessarily those of the radio station or its sponsors, and they should not construe as legal, tax, or investment advice. You should always consult the appropriate advisor before making any financial decision.